All right, all right. In this episode here today, I want to show you an easy strategy surrounding liquidity grabs, okay, and stop hunts, all right? You must understand how this works. And if you're someone that's a beginner trader or new to trading, or you really just don't have a key strategy to use in your own trading on a daily basis, this is something that you can do as far as waiting for a high probability opportunity or for a setup to unfold that will allow you to profit in your market in the market. Maybe you don't have a lot of capital to put into a brokerage account. Maybe you're someone that's very maybe frugal as far as uh, really waiting for the opportune time to place an entry or to uh, enter a position. Um, and maybe you use just one strategy. So here's a a very uh, quick way to really kind to get into a trade that should work out in most instances for you uh, when you're looking for a setup throughout the, the session. All right. Now I trade supply and demand. So, you know, with me doing that on a daily, I'm always looking for key zones or areas of interest that make sense to me. Of course, I always like to, to, to see what a break of structure. All right. And then I like to see uh, price pull back to an area where there is a demand or supply zone based. And I must see a high volume zone, meaning an area where the market, um, you know, push really quick, with lots of momentum to the upside or downside, creating a lot of volume coming out of a particular supply or demand zone. OK, so let's take a look at this. These um, I, got, I got a few marked up here in my chart that I want to show you. And there are opportunities to where, you know, the market makers were really locating and searching for uh stop hunts in the market really trying to um capitalize on areas where they could stop traders out so you must be able to identify these things but if you really just to sit back and be very patient okay now these don't happen every single day because what we're looking for is that opportunity for uh where liquidity grabs actually happen we see a reverse or price break uh, or have a shift to the upside or downside breaking structure. So let's take a look at these type things, okay? So first and foremost, what we see, this is just the first example I want to run down, okay? So what we see here is the market pushing to the upside here, making higher highs and higher lows, all right? Um, and then the market turns back around and breaks through, say, an area of structure right here to the downside, okay? Uh, as well, maybe this small little area right here. But either way, I look for full breaks of price to clear, below an area of support or resistance okay to, to help me really identify if there is a clear break of structure in the market okay so the market pushes lower it breaks through some areas on the downside so we have structure breaks okay now what we want to identify first is when price starts making these lower lows and lower highs, highs to the downside we want to be able to see if price at any given point starts to possibly maybe move sideways. In this case here, we're looking for a W structure, okay? That means that price is setting up or creating an area of liquidity, okay, as it's moving to the downside, all right? Now, this is a 24 range chart, um, and the move could be very uh, short-term, live in a sense, you know, especially when we have the market really pushing to the upside here. So this could just be a, uh, you know, a minor pullback for price to push higher. Either way, there's clearly opportunity to see, um, you know, to, to look for a, a setup. So this case here, we see price forming a W structure. What do we see? What does that mean? Price is forming an area of liquidity uh, at the base. Okay. So we see price making lower lows and lower highs to the downside. Again, like I said, we got the break of structure, all right? Now, I am looking to see as price made its last final attempt on the push to the downside, okay? Is it going to continue pushing lower, all right? Not just meaning that it's going to pull back right here and then just push, push lower. I'm looking for some means of a W structure, right but what i don't want to see really is price it to do to, to push down here and then just take off back to the upside i want to see if it's creating uh, several attempts to push lower meaning that it's creating that area of liquidity so it pushes lower here it pulls back it tries to push lower again it pulls back okay and then it does the same thing so it's creating several attempts to try to push lower and then it eventually pushes to the downside so what is it doing as it's when it pushed lower here, it pulled back. Second attempt to push lower, pulls back. Attempts again, 
pulls back, and then it finally pushes lower. It's taking and breaking below this low area here where it built liquidity. So that's a stop hunt. That means that they are trying to uh, capture or stop traders out that possibly try to go long here, okay? All right, and there's a, a, a basically a buildup of, of liquidity on the bottom end right here. All right, so first and foremost, they did what? They broke through this area here and capitalized or uh, stopped traders out and took that money right. Now, in order for this to be a, what I classify as a valid stop hunt, okay? When price grabbed this area of liquidity to the downside, so basically breaking structure to the downside, but this, there is liquidity right there. I want to see price break structure back to the upside. So if I get this W formation here at the bottom, and price breaks lower, taking liquidity out, and then I get the breaker structure back to the upside, then this will be classified to me as a valid stop hunt, okay? So price does what? It breaks this area, okay? Then it turns around and breaks structure back to the upside. So now I'm looking at this as definitely an area where the market makers actually stop traders out, okay? They were trying to, um, you know, collect this this capital right here, or this money sitting right here, because a lot of traders probably had interest to maybe possibly go long here, and they probably did enter long here. But when you see something like this, be very mindful, okay? There are just areas where the where the market is just building up, money is being inter injected. Traders try to go long here, boom, pull back, and try, possibly try to go long here again. Buyers try to go long, and then what happens? Several attempts, and then it, it collapses and pushes lower, all right? And then we get a breaker structure back to the upside. So when you see this right here, all right, you say first. First, you got that what? The liquidity grab at the bottom end, okay? Then you see that breaker structure back to the upside, all right? Once you see that breaker structure back to the upside, after they've come down and stopped traders out and collected that area of money, they're looking for there's the, the chance or there's a higher probability of the market wanting to what? To continue pushing higher. I just mentioned that, okay? Even though we got this, these runs to the upside and then price starts to break structures to the, to the downside, I said earlier that this could just be a pullback to push higher, and look what it did. It pushes higher. So at this opportunity or time, once price breaks structure back to the up, upside after uh, taking out this, this area of liquidity and running those stops, look, after it breaks that area back to the upside, you're looking for a pullback to a key area of demand, okay? So let's just take away this, this, this box here because this is I was just trying to show you an example um, of what we're looking for, okay, on this setup, all right? So now we move that lower. Now we want to identify the area of demand here off the 24 range chart. Now I'm not saying to take your trade off of the 24, 24 range chart, um, you know, exactly. You probably want to scale down to a lower time frame chart, but this is just an example from a slightly higher time frame chart. Um, and maybe, you know, I'm not saying you have to use range charts, but let's say you use a time based chart. It works on tick or volume. It doesn't really matter. Just look for these type things that actually occur. All right. The W formation where liquidity is being formed or the M structure formation where liquidity is being formed. And we'll take a look at one of those examples as well as where there could be a, a possibility or an opportunity to get in uh, once price pulls back to a key area of supply. In this case here, we have demand. Let's go ahead and mark our demand zone, all right? I just want to run through a few, few examples. Uh, so we got the break to the upside, all right? Taking out structure or breaking through this area structure right here. Pull. Now we want to start classifying or identifying areas of uh, demand, okay? Yes, this possibly could have been an area of demand, but I'm looking for where the origination started, where price broke to the upside, or where there was uh, price started moving to the upside with a lot of volume to break air, to break through this area structure right here, okay? So this would be definitely a key area for me because it's tucked back within, and it starts the origination or um, it starts to move back to the upside, okay? Uh, to where price breaks through this area of structure right here. So I'm going to mark this area right here. You see lots of volume coming out of here. Yes, there was some volume here, but this would put us on the upper end, I'd say, of this area before price broke structure here. So I'm interested on this zone here. Again, I showed this before. Uh, I'm not saying you have to use it, but you can pull a fib retracement. I don't trade the fib levels, but anything below the 50% area is a discounted area or cheaper area to look for an opportunity to place a demand zone to look for an opportunity to go long. So price does what? It pulls back, it pulls back, rejects, boom, what does it do? It takes off and pushes higher. All right. So it's kind of a fake out in a sense um, where they are trying to capitalize on collecting money on liquidity pools once they see them form, stop traders out, 
move the, the and move the uh, the market back in the same direction to the upside. So just a deeper retracement to collect some money. All right, break structure, pull back to go longer. So let's take a look. I'm going to draw it with an arrow here. So the market was racing to the upside here, pulls back, forms this liquidity area here. Okay, boom, and it just breaks lower. Okay, all right. Now again, this is not a full-on stop hunt until I really I like to see it and classify it when we, once we see a uh, breaker structure back to the upside, breaking through this area here. Where's a breaker structure after price took out this area of liquidity? So we got it. Once it breaks through this area area here, where we have a BOS or breaker structure, then this is definitely classified to me as an area where they were stopping or shopping for hunts. Oh, excuse me, shopping for stops, or you may want to call it a stop hunt. All right. Then we just look for the area or the pullback to a key area demand, and then what? Price blasts off to the upside. Okay. So it's just a a fake out uh, for price to push push higher okay so the overall trend is still to the upside if you see it you know ultimately push pushing up pulling back just to break higher again okay a big swing all right so that's just one example we'll take a look at a few more here let's see if we can find an example here's another one another example of uh a demand setup where we have a liquidity grab followed by a breaking structure pullback price blasts off let's see if i can find one that i had marked for a supply zone uh this is another demand one here price Pushing lower, uh, liquidity grab right here, blast higher, pulls back, boom, breaks higher. All right, so here's the good example of a um, supply setup. You know, at the price grabs liquidity, and they are basically um, stop hunting. Okay, so take a look here. Price is making swings to the upside, making higher highs and higher lows. So uh, the uh, market is bullish at this point. Okay, now right here you see the price pushed up. Okay, it pulls back, pushes up again. With the second attempt okay third attempt trying to break higher in a sense so what we have here is uh price making a m um structure at the tops right here okay before it pushes higher so it's when you see something like this happen when price is trying to or attempt to push higher on a few attempts they're making making equal highs and then finally push to the upside taking liquidity right here the next thing we want to see is if price is going to make a valid break of structure back to the downside okay taking out the bottom end of or this low right here this area support taking it out all right so we see what price eventually breaks through takes this area of liquidity all right breaks back down taking this area of structure out right here all right okay you see it right here right below that low breaks right, right back below it and then once it does that we're looking for a pullback to a key area of supply where there's high volume at always want to look for high volume when you're marking an area of demand or supply that's a rule of thumb when trying to identify the best location to possibly where price could um you know retrace to or re and, and reject that once it gets to it now i like to see also uh where there is a valid uh imbalance or gap at so in this case right here we'll go ahead and see if we have we'll go ahead and mark up a uh, our supply zone okay so price pushed with a lot of force to the downside a lot of momentum or volume right here and then it makes we have this imbalance sitting right here okay you see this what's an imbalance that's where we have a gap at in between where price broke below this last green or this last up candle to the upside before breaking lower and taking it taking it out so from uh let's see whoops let's do this i'll go ahead and show you the imbalance or gap for those that may not know the bottom end of that green candle right there okay all right and then once price broke below with a full candle break to the downside you know and where it came back into the last attempt to kind of uh on the push lower uh how far did it come back up pretty much on the next candle so right here all right so we have this gap of this imbalance from the bottom end here push lower break and then the uh last attempt to somewhat uh pull back right here so we got this gap right here so this is our clearly our, 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 a supply zone where there's a imbalance set okay so once price pulls back to that area there all right and rejects we get the candle close so the last candle will push to the upside and then you get the candle that closes in the opposite direction down to the downside with a full break to the downside boom get in and take try to take it back down to where to the low right here okay this low here is where there's going to be liquidity. They're going to probably try to aim for it. So once we get the rejection back to the upside at a key area of supply, we want to start looking for areas of liquidity um, to 
take price back down to and and, for, and price to take out those key key zones or key areas look what happens it taps into it uh, breaks down and we have a liquidity grab at the bottom end meaning they took out and capitalized on all this money on the retracement back to the up to, back to the upside they started making lower lows to, to the downside taking out um liquidity here here and then down here at the bottom as well all right so I showed you a few examples, you know, definitely one of a demand setup and looking for liquidity grab where they are um, searching or stopping out traders, you know, um, basically after there's a liquidity setup, okay, meaning a breakthrough in an area, pullback, a break of structure, and then look for a pullback to either a key area of demand or supply. It's a pretty simple strategy that you can use. And if you just look for a I'm not saying it's going to happen every single day. There could be, possibly be, depending on the time frame charts you, you use. Um, but I always like to see it set up on a higher time frame because it increases the probability. Or I should say it increases the chances of us being able to get into a more sustainable and longer lasting trade, either to the upside or downside. So take a look at it yourself, kind of back test it, forward test it, see if it works out. Maybe it's something you want to try using. Um, and, you know, it can be definitely one strategy that you kind of incorporate or maybe just use if you don't have a strategy that could you know put you in a position to where you can start growing your account and um profiting or becoming a profitable trader uh, yourself all right so i appreciate everyone who's tuned into the video please drop a like on the video if you like the, the content here also make sure to subscribe to the channel channel by clicking on the sub button down below it's that red subscribe button click on the bell next to it turn your post notifications on if you have not already done so and if you would like to join our discord community where we have well over a thousand community members now and growing by the day click on the description down in the uh excuse me just click on the link down in the description portion of the video below it's free of charge click on it invite yourself in and that's really all you have to do now if you're someone that's interested in becoming an elite member on the channel it's 6.99 a month guys yes six dollars and 99 cent a month what does it give you it's basically a tier based program through youtube okay if you click on the membership link or tab on the home channel uh of on this channel here on the home page of this channel you'll see a a link up top there close to the it's a sub button that says um membership click on it you'll see two tiers there pretty much everyone who signed up or or enrolled uh to become a member is signed up through or has set up the um or signed up for the elite membership side uh again a 6.99 a month and what you get is all the perks and rewards from the first tier you also receive the trade breakdowns when i post um you know my trade entries basically what that does it boils down to be is that i go into detail as if kind of like you were sitting next to me or virtually i break down and go through the process as if you were um sitting next to me so you grasp an understanding of why i took certain trades i break it down about as elementary as i possibly can and outside of that you also receive the video playlist which is a list of videos that pretty much help um you know if you're a new trader or beginner trader or maybe you're not maybe you're just someone that's kind of you know, looking to start trading the future markets and and uh it's helped tons of individuals out because it kind of gives you a i guess a onset or a list of videos that kind of incorporate uh or you know my understanding of how i actually trade and possibly could help you in your own trading so if you're interested just click on the membership tab and it'll walk you through and let you know what you actually receive Again, $6.99 a month, basically a price of a cup of coffee that you guys may spend on a daily basis, but you get it for a whole month, okay? So try it out. Anyways, uh, that's all I have for you guys today in this video here, and hopefully this uh, content has helped uh, someone or many individuals out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take care.